Ethiopia, the nation of fairness, the symbol of freedom, the origin of mankind. Ethiopia Today is the English language news channel which brings the latest from Ethiopia, mainly focusing on economy, digitalization, culture, history, tourism. We assure you that we will facilitate the visa requests. No one should doubt the Ethiopian tradition of hospitality. What we ask is respect, dignity, and honesty, open and candid discussion. We will, as we did in the past, we will always stretch our hands to all those who treat us with dignity and equality. That is, and this is the story of an Ethiopian life since the time of the League of Nations. I thank you. Um. The UN is organized in every country to have one leader that speaks for the entire UN system in a country. Okay. So the person we're making reference to is this person who is the resident coordinator. Okay. Yeah. And she knows, and she's a person that could, but she's under a great deal of pressure. Okay. Fire. Fire. They wanted her out. Fire. And this comes from still or no, this comes still or from not? still, but still. Oh. And this comes from Dr. Tedros of uh, that level. Yes, wanting her out to replace her with somebody who will dance to their tune. Exactly. And you know what they did? They managed to convince that all the emergency coordinators from the different agencies that came in to work in Tigray, yeah, they wanted them to report, not to report to us. So sideline the UN here because we were not singing to the tune of what they wanted. How could they even say that again? <laughs> I, want to, yes. I, want, I want to wrap my head around this. Say that again, the, exactly. The, you, you know that because of the scale up yeah. of the humanitarian interventions in the North, many of the agencies had to bring in additional support. We call them search, uh, yeah. which is additional technical expertise to be posted in that region. And many had to appoint what we call senior emergency coordinator. Well, they all our headquarters have emergency directors. Yes. Okay. So they, they all descended on Addis against the advice of the resident coordinator and the head okay. of agencies. And the head of, head, heads of agencies and the government of Ethiopia. Okay, we're not naming names here, so I take it I can still use this now. This is, this, I can still use this uh, in terms of them trying to sideline the UN and make them report. Yes? No? You guys are trading eyes. <laughs> yeah, I think. Was it not part of the scale of protocols? Yeah. Yeah. It was part of the scale of protocols that says that the emergency coordinators in the regions di report directly to 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 the emergency yeah. directors rather than in to us in headquarters. Instead of to us. So they want a direct line from Tigray to the headquarters. Addis, the reps in Addis should be sidelined because we're working with the federal government. Yes. We're more sympathetic. You gotta let me use that. <laughs> you gotta let me use that. That's a huge, that's a huge, you want, you want people to understand this? Let me use that. Are we agreed? I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay with good. That. I'm okay with that. Tell me. Because again, it's, it's the, it, it's, it's what they want in yeah. headquarters, and it's what Dr. Tedros and others like him have succeeded in getting his fellow undersecretaries general to agree to that the UN in Addis is compromised. Let's have senior coordinators in Tigray who report directly to New York and Geneva and Rome. What this tells me in context is there is a power struggle going on within the UN. Absolutely. This explains why we ran into sources in Mekele who told us about UN senior officials interfering with national exams and, co and coordinating with the TPLF. So this is part of that puzzle. There's a power struggle going on with the UN in terms of how you guys can get do your jobs. Yeah. Is that fair? That yeah. is absolutely, yeah, absolutely correct. Okay, you guys are in big trouble. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, Paperwork. Again, can somebody supply paperwork to to back this up? There must have been memos. There are always memos in a bureaucracy. Somebody had to write this down to say, we should be doing this instead of this. And they would have sent it to multiple people. 
there's got to be a paper trail. Um, on the discussion to marginalize representatives in artists, no. I, don't, I don't think there's paperwork. How is that Or possible? if there is paperwork, it hasn't got to our level. Yes. It's been discussed at by that level. Yeah, our. Were you part of these discussions? No. no. Even, I mean, that's, that's the whole idea. They invited us. So, how do you even know that this is true? Because it's coming because from the just, resident coordinator, exactly. and okay, she so is came, saying, okay. "I have never seen anything like this." That okay. emergency directors come from New York, and they don't even engage with their representatives on the ground. They go directly to Tigray, come back from Tigray, engage directly with donors, and then you know write a report. All right. There's been a strident push for senior representatives in Mekele. Um, and that they should be given sufficient latitude for action. There should not be interference from Addis, meaning us. Mm -hmm. Because if it's coming from us, we're going to be sympathetic with the federal government and we will perhaps transteate in another direction. What you're talking about, though, amounts to a conspiracy within the UN. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, to sideline us. <laughs> so the only... The, uh, the safest place to be right now is on Quessy's side. If you're a Quessy and you're bashing the government, you're safe. You're safe. If you're Maureen or Denya Ooh, or these nice. other friends who are not here, yeah. nice. we can't talk at meetings anymore. Uh -uh. We go to meetings, we keep quiet. Mm -hmm. um, especially now because of the pandemic, we are in this uh, virtual, virtual format world. of meetings. We don't know who's, who's listening. listening. Um, what is this? What, why would this guy? This guy's not Ethiopian. No. So I mean, what is his interest here? Why are you even going to bat for him? Um, if you are, and I believe you are, Jeff, familiar with how the TPLF works, yes. they recruit people. They have their networks within the UN system. Mm -hmm. Whether Kwesi is being paid additional money by the TPLF, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But his pretty emotional where TPLF is concerned. Is it possible it's, he's just a true believer? Maybe he's just not paid off, but a true believer in their cause. Um, What's your take? Uh, what do you think? But he also has a friend from that region. Yeah, I don't know how true it is. Huh? So yeah, that's what, yeah. yeah but they said he's got an Ethiopian girlfriend. Yeah. And rumor is that she's from there. Yeah. But I don't think that's what motivates him. Yeah, let's him. not go there. No, no the thing exactly. Is I, don't like, I don't like doing that to people. Exactly. Um, God, we need... And, all right, second question is, because you just gave me a peach of a quote about secondhand. Uh, you said your superior well, official said she's never seen anything like this. Um, I would love to run with that, but the thing is also we've got to find a way to protect her. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to go talk to your friend. Uh, in actual fact, the best way to protect her is to talk about her. I do believe that. If I actually use her name but talk about her in the third person, um, that could actually insulate her. Because she could legitimately point and say, I didn't talk to this guy. They're talking about me. They're not talking to me, which would take the, the I would recommend off. that you go to the UN Ethiopia Twitter handle mm -hmm. and look at things she has posted yes. and draw from that. It, well, if she's putting out stuff on Twitter, that's, <laughs> that's not very a wise course of action to do because she's putting out controversial things on Twitter. No, and she's she... not putting out controversial things. Uh, there's been a few recent statements. There's one on uh, the uh, perception of the UN in Ethiopia yeah. um, having taken a hit and, you know. What's your Twitter handle? Do you know? Uh, um, it, UN, it's UN it, Ethiopia. UN Ethiopia, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, Would you please talk to your friend and talk to her about what we're doing and at the very least give the woman a heads up so she knows this is coming? Or do you want to go that far? I'm not sure. Mm. Are you Does she trust you? Oh, yeah. yeah. But I but mean, she's, we under have, of, she's under a lot of, yeah. Yeah. A lot of it. I, a lot of I don't... I'm not sure she would want to be a part of something yes. like this. Yes, she's on the. I mean, there's a there's a there's a tremendous force being orchestrated to figure out how to get her out of here. 
and, it's and they have failed thing. so far because yes. um, um, I met with a senior government representative who said we are not going to watch her get kicked out of here. We know they want her out because she's an African. I am telling you straight up, the most honest thing, the most best thing you could do for her is A, tell her you're talking to me, B, tell her that um, the best way I could protect her and actually help you is actually talk about the campaign to oust her and name her and then watch the fur fly because then they'll go, holy shit, Pierce knows what's going on. How the hell does he know what's going on? And that will make them back off her for a while. I can't promise it would be indefinite, but I can tell you that she would be safe for a limited period of time because the shit will hit the fan that once you, once you drag them into the light and say, this is what they're trying to do, that actually, because I told you in our phone conversation, I, I've been a whistleblower. They put my name in it and they didn't touch me because they went, well, why would his name be in it if he actually spoke to the sources? That is the best way to protect your friend and your colleague. Um, and frankly, if there's a concerted effort to oust her, I say go public with it. But you that's got to be that's got to be her. That's got to be. I don't want to hurt this person. Yeah. I don't know this person. You should coordinate with her to say, be a part of this um, because it could help you. And I mean that sincerely. If you need me to talk to her, I'll talk to her. I'll deal with her the same way. If she wants to talk to me, anything um, that she says to me can be as an unnamed source. Same rules. Um, but it would be good to get her permission to say, can we use your name? Because you're obviously being targeted here. Okay, two things, Jeff. Yeah. One, um, the push to ask her was tremendous. She has survived it. Because mm -hmm. several key people have said over our so dead bodies, um, including senior people in New York, mm -hmm. very, very senior people who have said, stop this nonsense. So it's a certain group of donors. They're waiting, and, they're waiting. And, They're waiting. They'll be back. They'll um, be waiting. They'll be back. So that is one. I think she has survived it. Okay. Um, but second, we all have different um, uh, thresholds for, you know, discomfort. Of course. Um, if I was in that situation, I would be looking for Jeff Pierce. Um, I don't know that that is her case. Yeah. So no, my, I proposal, I my proposal, so put the, put the my proposal would yeah. be her contact information is public. If you go to the UN Ethiopia website, her number is there. Call her or email her and say, um, I'm hearing A, B and C about what's happening in Ethiopia. Would you be willing to speak with me off the record or on the record? She has no reason to trust me and I wouldn't blame her. Given the way that the other media have treated her, unless she's familiar with what I she did. is very familiar with you. She okay. follows you, okay, and she shares your tweets with me. I share your tweets with her. Okay. Um, okay. She knows you very well. Yeah. Because given how, <sighs> let me double check the recording on the. We, the A3 plus one, reaffirm our respect for and commitment to the sovereignty, political independence, and territorial integrity of Ethiopia. እኛንደ ኬንያ ኒጀር እና ቱኒዚያ ያለን ሀገራት የኢትዮጵያ ነፃ ሉዓላዊነትን በሚገባ እናከብራለን ኢትዮጵያ የኛ አጋር ሀገር ናት ስለዚህ ሀገሪቱ ሉዓላዊነት እንደገፋለን የኢትዮጵያ ሰላም ለአከባቢ ሰላም መስፈን ወሳኝ ስለሆነ አስፈላጊ ወንድ ጋር ፈናድርጋለን የተባበሩት መንግስታትን ጨምሮ ሌሎች ዓለም አቀፍ የርዳታ ድርጅቶች የሰብአዊ ድጋፍ አገልግሎት መርሆች ማክበር ይተበክባቸዋል የኡነት የተቸገሩ ኢትዮጵያውያን ለመርዳት ከተፈለገ የሀገሪቱን ነፃነት በማይጋፋ መልኩ መሆን አለበት ኢትዮጵያ ሉዓላዊ ታገር ናትና in order to feel your humanitarian gap as soon as possible and ensure that aid in this context we welcome the formation of a new government in ethiopia በዚህ ጉዳይ ላይ በጥቅላይ ሚኒስትር አብይ አህመድ የተመሰረተውን መንግስት እንቀበላለን መንግስት ለህዝቦች ሰላም እና ደህንነት ጠንክሮ እንደሚሰራ መረጃው አለ ስለዚህ ይህ በህዝብ ምርጫ የተመረጠውን መንግስት ነፃነት ሁሉም ሊያከብር ይገባል we also welcome the voice of support to the ethiopian government by the african leaders 
ሩሲያ አዲስ ከተመሰረተ የኢትዮጵያ መንግስት ጋር መስራቷን ተቀጥላለች ያሉት አምባሳደሯ በኢትዮጵያ ሰላም እንዲሰፈን አስፈላጊውን ድጋፍ እንደምታደርግም ተናግሯል ዓለም አቀፉ ማህበረሰብም ነጻ በሆነች ሀገር ውስጥ ጣልቃ ከመግባት ይልቅ ለሰላምና ለሰባዊ እርዳታ ድጋፍ እንዲሰሩ ጠይቋል። Российская Федерация продолжит поддерживать территориальную целостность суверенитета በኢትዮጵያ ሰላም እንዲሰፍን የሩሲያ ፌዴሬሽን አጥብቆ ይፈልጋል። በዚህም ሩሲያ አስፈላጊውን ድጋፍ ለኢትዮጵያ መንግስት እያበረከተች ነው። የተባበሩት መንግስታት የጸጥታው ምክር ቤትን ጨምሮ ሌሎች ዓለም አቀፍ የርዳታ ድርጅቶች በሀገሪቱ ግጭት እንዲባባስ ከመድረግ ይልቅ ለሰባው ርዳታ እንዲሰሩና እንዲጨነቁ እናሳስባለን።